take this little raggedy old um, tray and we're gonna make it glam and new again, okay? So, if y'all wanna see how I do this, let's get started. So, what we're gonna use is we're gonna use our subway tiles and I purchased this from dieflar.com. We're gonna use our wrap, um, our diamond um, mesh wrap. We're also gonna use these tiles that I purchased from uh, Hementor.com. Uh, and I said in the last video that the, these tiles are expensive, but I'm working on um, trying to bring y'all these tiles at a decent price. So if y'all can just be patient with me, I'm gonna continue to work with different tiles. So I'm exploring you know, different kinds of tiles and cheaper uh, options. So, y'all stay tuned for that. Okay, we're going to use our um, hot glue gun and we're going to use some glue sticks. So, let's get started, y'all. And I'm not going to do all the sides. I'm just going to show y'all uh, one side because I'm not going to keep this. This is like for demonstration purposes only. So, I'm not going to do both sides. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our um, glue gun. Y'all, I am so tired. I'm supposed to um, be at work today, and I don't know if I'm gonna go. I might have to call in so I can be at home with y'all on the weekend. <laughs> so we're just gonna place these all the way down to the end of the um, tray, hoping that it, you know, it's end up the same size, but if not, we will take it off and start again. I'm not going to talk much through the video because I know y'all, I talk too much anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you all how uh, we're going to do this.
Okay, y'all, so here's the simple little glam tray. Um, I'm gonna uh, clean it up and then we're gonna put our other um, decorations and everything on the, um, you know, on the tray. So we're gonna go ahead and go into our second DIY. Okay, y'all, so let's get into the second DIY. So I found this little cube at um, the Goodwill and I was like, I can do something with that. So um, I went on ahead and put the Chanel uh, logo on there, but the thing is, I'm gonna turn it around and use this as the front. So you can, you know, see the uh, Chanel sign through the, um, the glass. I thought that was kind of cute. So we're gonna use also these ice cubes that I found at Michael's. We're gonna use our gems clear glue, a brush. We're gonna use our diamond wrap. We're gonna use this old knob. Uh, it's actually broken, but you know, we're gonna like, I said we we're gonna use things from our house. Now, this came from my bar, y'all. Like I went downstairs and I wanted something clear. So I was like, let me try these um, little fake ice cubes. So let me just tell y'all that Sometimes you can use stuff in your home <laughs> that you already have. If you think hard enough, you can, you know, improvise and use certain things like that. And I love taking things um, like that I already have in the house and, you know, you know, revamping or reusing, recycling, all of that good stuff. So what we're going to do is take our, um, our cubes and we're going to kind of glue them together. I'm gonna try to get them as straight as I can because they're not straight. They're just um, like real ice cubes, how they're shaped. So the thing is that we're gonna get try to get them as straight as we possibly can. And y'all know I don't do that, but we're just gonna try. How about that? So we're just gonna sit it like right there in the middle. Not in the middle, but it's gonna be in the middle once we're done with the other one. So I'm not gonna talk anymore, get on y'all nerve or nothing like that. I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all listen to some music.
Okay, y'all, so this is how it turned out. I'm going to let it dry, but it's just a simple, cute little DIY. It changed the whole thing about this cube and made it into somewhat of a perfume bottle. So I think it's really, really cute and unique. So we're going to set that to the side, and we're going to start on our other DIY. Hey, Glam Fam. So this DIY is going to be like a trinket box, and uh, we're going to use these tiles again we're going to use this little dollar tree um candle holder i've already put a glitter on it because um it's from a previous project we're going to use our um diamond confetti and we're going to use this beautiful knob that i got from dds or was it ross one of them clear glue glue sticks glue gun our usual so we're just going to go ahead and <coughs> um place these uh, tiles on the box. And if you want um, a stronger hold, of course, you could go ahead and use some E6000. I'm not because I'm gonna eventually take this off. It's just for demonstration purposes only.
okay y'all there's our trinket box i think i got this a little wop side y'all but <clears throat> i'll straighten it up and i'll show you all how all of this looks together okay glam fam this is how the matching trinket box and tray turned out y'all i'm just loving the glam of this you know it is so gorgeous i love the chanel box and um i am just you know happy that i wasn't i didn't have to buy anything for this project i already had these things in my home so shop your home or thrift shop your home and um turn up that old tray or that old table turn it into something new just get you a few little gems and you know that's all you have to do but y'all if y'all have gotten any inspiration from what i've done here then you can like comment and subscribe and come on y'all join the family we royals over here so anyway i am so happy that this turned out this way and i enjoyed doing it so y'all have a blessed and wonderful day